My name is Daisuke Kobayashi, Executive Director of the Japan National Tourism Organization, Dubai Office. Thank you very much for giving Breaking Travel News some time. Thank you very much, it's my pleasure. Here we are in the Arabian travel market. So yes. first of all, um, how's the event going for you? Yeah, actually everything is fine and I'm very excited to see, you know, uh, there is a very strong demand uh, from the Middle East market for Japan. Uh, because we, uh, this time, uh, we attend the ATM with the uh, 14 co-exhibitor from Japan and there's so many travel agencies coming to have a business meeting with them. So yeah, I, I just uh, feel you know, Japan is a kind of get the boom in. So yeah, I'm very glad to see that. That's fantastic to hear. And what is your message to the market? Okay, yeah. I believe uh, many people in GCC or Middle East market uh, would like to go to Japan. I hear about that. And then actually, uh, Japan has there so many kind of tourism attractions such as a uh, very traditional culture of Japan or a very uh, beautiful uh, nature attraction or you know manga or anime subculture uh, attraction there as well uh, so you know whatever you want and then whenever you visit you can find something new and something very unique experience in Japan and of course, uh, 2025 is going to be a very big year for you. Expo is coming. Yeah. Tell us more. Yeah, speaking of uh, Expo 2025 in Osaka, Kansai. So I'm, you know, I like to say we have the, uh, I, I feel the connection with the Middle East market and Japan because, you know, the previous Expo is uh, held in Dubai. And then, you know, this time to Osaka, Japan. Then after that, it will be in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So I have very strong connection with the uh, Japan and the Middle East market. And then the Osaka, Kansai region itself, speaking of about that, uh, actually everybody knows about the Tokyo, I think, but uh, Osaka is uh, another uh, one of the most biggest city in Japan, and they have the another uh, culture or another uh, people who have the uh, very characteristic, characteristic uh, mind. So you can find another face of Japan in Osaka region. And actually from Osaka, there are so many places to visit. Uh, just uh, two, three days from Osaka. So yeah, you can uh, enjoy the expo and then travel around the uh, Osaka area. And, and what's connectivity like now coming into Japan from, from the Middle East? Connectivity. Air connectivity. Yeah, I'll say that one. Air connectivity. So yeah. uh, who's flying Who's flying to Japan? Ah, okay. It's okay. So, so how is the connectivity from the region to Japan? Yes, uh, actually uh, we have so many uh, flight connections from Middle East to Japan, such as Emirates and Etihad or Qatar. And then uh, the end of last March, uh, Japan Airlines, that is the one of the biggest Japan airline company in Japan, uh, just started to have a direct flight from Doha to Tokyo. So that is a big impact for us to, you know, bring the traveler from the east to Japan. Wonderful. And finally, um, what is your what is your final kind of closing remarks uh, okay. for our, our, our viewers? Okay. So actually, you know, we have the uh, uncountable uh, tourism attraction in Japan, and we have the 47 prefecture in Japan, and they, each prefecture has their own unique attractions so whenever you visit uh, wherever you visit whatever you want you can enjoy and you can find very unique your own uh, your own Japan uh, so yeah we are ready to welcome you thank you very much for your time thank you very much